Welcome, my wheels by the ocean. Watch your viewers with all the GWM cannons. I've got a new little device here called the Smart AI Box by OneCarStereo.com. You want to suss it out? It's about $200, yeah? Right? I want to see if it's good as, as, it, as it should be, yeah? I'm looking forward to this. Danica, hello. Say hello to the people. Hi. Hi. Um, Danica hates plugging her phone into this little cord down here. She hates it. She has a very nice, beautiful, ultra, uh, top of the range phone, and she doesn't like to plug it into this because the Android Auto constantly cuts out because the cords always crap themselves. So we're gonna take that cord, we're gonna get rid of it. We're opening up this AI box. This is not the first time I've opened this. I actually opened this and I had a little play with it because I wanted to know what I was talking about before I tried to explain it to you guys because, you know, otherwise I'll look like an idiot. Um, all you gotta do, let's quickly open it again. I'm opening it again. I fully repackaged it to make it look all pretty for you again. Pull this little thing out, right? There's that. Get rid of all those little things. We take our cord. For the GWM, you need to use the USB one because we don't have a USB-C in the little port down here. In here. I'm doing this in one continuous shoot so I don't have to edit this video because I've got too much videos to edit. So I'm just making this one for you GWM people and others. It probably works on everything else. But I want to show you that it works on the GWM Canon. Right? Where are we up to? Oh, right, we're plugged in. Let's start the motor. Beautiful. Okay, looking at the screen, right? Look at this, ready? It's going to come up like it should. I had this all connected to Danica's phone already, um, but then I disconnected it because I wanted to show you how to pair it up without having to muck around. So all you need to do is make sure on your phone that your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth is turned on, yeah? Now we'll wait for this to turn on. On initial setup or whatever, because this is the first time it's being plugged in, now we're going to load up Smart AI Box. Look how pretty it looks on your screen there, everybody. Hey, okay, ready to go. So the first time you're going to use this, that's the screen you're going to use. If you just want to bypass and quickly set up Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, um, I'm going to do Android Auto because I'm a Samsung dude. So we're going to go to Speed Play. Press that. Press speed play. Phone, don't... Do I show the password to everybody? Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're going to go to the Bluetooth menu. Scan. And we're going to wait till we find Smart AI Box. Da, 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 da. Come on, quickly now. There we go. Smart AI Box at the bottom. Pair it up. Give it all that its little things. Allow it to do all of its crap. I'll put that down there now. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's good to go. I locked the phone. Phone's locked. Android Auto's working. Look at it. Music, got Spotify, um, maps, you know, all, all the good stuff. Big W Capella Bar, been there recently, haven't we? Um, anyway, that's your main thing. You've got all the normal Android Auto apps that you have when you plug your phone in. Um, it's actually quite good how quickly it sort of does its thing. Like, it works just as good as the cord. Um, to get basically, if you really want to, like I was saying, this does have Netflix, Disney, you can have any apps from your Play Store. The whole system works like a Samsung tablet. Um, all you gotta do is go into your settings, Wi-Fi, turn your hotspot on on your phone, or you use your home Wi-Fi, whatever you wanna use, um, and just connect this to it. So it works just like a normal Samsung um, tablet after that. Oh, here we go. I'm still playing around with this. So you go back to the main menu. So you do have to sign into your Play Store, sign into your YouTube, your Netflix or whatever, and you can watch it all through that um, system, straight through your car stereo and everything. Works all good. Um, I just wanted it for the Apple CarPlay, or the Android Auto. So Danica can hop in the car and not have to plug in. There's no plug. What do you reckon, babe? I like it. I like it. I hope that you could keep up with my fast talking and everything there. Um, I just wanted to do a quick movie on this, get it out there for you people. It's called the Smart AI Box by OneCarStereo.com, okay? And it works. I've tested it for a couple of days now. When I get out of the car and I hop back in, it all automatically connects, like it's not mucking around. Just make sure your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth's on. What more can I say about that? It works. That's when I hop into the car, not you. When Danique hops into the car. I'm scared. If I have my phone on as well, I don't wanna mess around with it too much. I just want one phone connected to it. Danica loves it. Now you can use it without having to worry about plugging your crap in. Hi everybody! Come watch my channel, Wheels by the Ocean. We drive a GWM around Australia. You'll love it. You'll love it. Jump on. Quick. Go. Go. Go.